Okay. Simplicity is divinity. I have seen 10,000 BS ways to check to see if your sensor is dirty. It's got spots on it. Make a reference photo and then take another photo and do, you know, stand on your head. Screw that. Open up your uh, computer display. Hopefully your screen isn't dirty with spots itself. Type in on Google, white screen. Make it full size to your monitor so it's nice and white, okay? Turn on your camera. Uh, expose it so that the shot of your screen is about 20% gray. Basically like a slate chalkboard. A little bit lighter than that. Actually, most slate chalkboards are kind of dark. But like 20% gray. You know what an 18% gray looks like? Fine. You can bring up an 18% gray if you want and take a shot of that. Um, either way, it doesn't make any difference. Enlarge it. Look in the back. And that will tell you the fastest, easiest, best way whether you got spots on your sensor. And here's the trick of it. Um, where your sensor is, is inverse to where your LCD shows the spots. So if you see the spots at the top of your image, that means that the dirty bits are at the bottom of your sensor. Uh, which is where they always are, really. Not always, but most of the time. Um, if the dirty bits are at the top of your sensor, it will show up at the bottom of the picture you took. Um, I've made several videos on how to clean your sensor. Clean your sensor. Come back, take another shot, click, and then check it. So you don't need any special tools, just open up your web page to Google and type in white screen. Bring up a solid white sheet, make it look 20% gray, click, zoom in, check the shots, boom. You don't have, this is stupid, just zoom in to 100% and take a look. You don't have to put the card into Photoshop and blow it up to 10,000%. I mean, it's stupid. You'll see the spots at 100% on the back of your camera. Clean it. Recheck. Typically is the case you get a dirty sensor. Um, then you'll probably have to use two wet swabs. If you're a Sony owner, you can't do it at all because Sony will void your warranty because they're so fragile. They've got exposed contacts and do the in-body image stabilization. They don't want you touching your sensor. Which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. But hey, it's a Sony, right? So... If you're a Sony owner, you could ignore everything I just said because Sony don't want you touching your sensor because they will void your warranty. Another reason not to buy a Sony. Sony! Thanks for watching. Keep it simple, man. Life's too short for BS, right? Keep it simple. Bye. Works every time. Done it a hundred times. Bye.